My father actually conceived of the idea of a watershed. He had been part of the Conservation Foundation, which wanted to establish local environmental organizations on a, on a watershed basis. So a watershed is a area of land that drains like a big sponge to a body of water. For example, we drain to the Stony Brook and the Stony Brook drains to the Millstone River. It's a really good unit of protection. If I live in a community, say Princeton, and I want to protect water in that community, I can make up regulations for in that community. But uh, we all live downstream, so water is coming from other places and pouring into there. So a watershed unit is a, is a great way to protect the environment. The watershed was founded in 1949 by people who were very concerned about the runoff into the streams. So that has always been the heart and soul of this organization in terms of clean water makes better and safer and healthier communities for all of us. What the watershed does in science and stewardship is try to be the basis for everything else that we do. So we collect baseline data on the health of the watershed. We run programs to teach about that. We use the data to basically support our education and also our advocacy. One thing we always like to say is that we focus on data to action. So we don't want to just collect data and let it sit on a shelf. We want to be able to use it, get out there and, and make central New Jersey a better place. The role of advocacy really fits in quite well. I mean, you have the science department who's doing the research, but then we're able to take that information, use that to speak for the streams and the wetlands because they can't. The watershed's really been involved in every single one of the major water policy programs and laws that the state has committed itself to. So any issue of water policy, this organization has had an impact and a big impact. The watershed education program has uh, several facets to it. And I think one core value in all of them is that uh, embracing the sense of wonder. We feel like that's a key to people um, understanding the world that they live in and valuing what they live in. I think the centerpiece is summer camp. Um, summer camp ca is camp. It's fun. It's a nature camp. It's get out and enjoy the world. It's about kind of kindling a love affair that people will have hopefully for their entire lives. Um, we believe that when people get to know the natural world, when they get to know a stream or they get to know a tree or a bird, um, they're likely to fall in love with it and then want to protect it. I'd say one of our flagship programs is the Streamwatch Volunteer Water Monitoring Program. We have about 100 volunteers ranging from middle school students up to retired physicists and, and everything in between. So it's really exciting to kind of see them interact with their environment and really get to know their stream. We're just really fortunate to be headquartered on this magnificent property. We designed this building to really embody the mission of the organization and to provide an educational model. There's, there's just a real incredibly rich diversity of programming. There's a lot of people that learn about and learn to love nature right here. The Watershed Institute is Incredible. I love everybody here. You'll learn a lot of new things and you'll have fun learning these new things. Let's face it, New Jersey is on the edge of climate change. We've seen tremendous growth in population and development. So we're kind of a crucible here. We are a place where our society is either going to figure out how to deal with these problems or it's not. This is mission work and I view it as the most important thing I can do on this planet. The challenges of the next 70 years will be even greater than the challenges of these past 70 years. If we don't protect our planet from the threats that are facing us, what will our children inherit?